Do you like coconut cakes? Do you? Well, me too. In that case, you are on the right channel. So welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and today we are going to prepare an African style coconut sponge cake. And this cake is amazing. You can serve it at parties, at birthdays, for yourself, for any occasion. So as usual, if you want to know how I prepared this coconut sponge cake, please keep on watching and I'll see you very soon for a new recipe. You need 225 grams plain flour. You need 175 grams margarine, not butter, margarine. You need 175 grams sugar. You need 165 grams coconut milk. One cup of desiccated or fresh coconut milk. Three medium sized eggs. And this is optional, but I'll be also adding some vanilla essence. Let's get started. So start by adding the flour and then one teaspoon of baking powder. Next, add one teaspoon of salt. And then if you like nutmeg like me, one teaspoon of nutmeg or half a teaspoon is also okay. And then mix it and keep aside. Start with making the cake battery by creaming the margarine and sugar until a pale light color. So start with the lowest speed. Next, stop the stand mixer and add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And don't forget to scrape the batter to make sure it blends evenly. However, the vanilla essence is totally optional, but it just makes it great. Mix it and then add your eggs one by one and mix it with the lowest speed. Do not add the eggs all together at once. Just make sure you add them one by one and mix it. So I'm now adding the third egg and I'll mix it for about 30 seconds more. It's now time to add the flour mixture and mix it again. Start with the lowest speed and then gradually increase it until you get a nice butter. You can now add the coconut milk. So I have 165 gram coconut milk and then mix it again. Next add one cup of desiccated or fresh coconut and I'm using desiccated one. Next preheat the oven at 160 degrees and then grease your baking thing with either oil or margarine or butter. I always use a, a silicone baking thing because they are the easiest and then sprinkle some flour on it. Make sure it is spread evenly and get rid of the excess flour. Next, pour your butter on the thing. And this baking thing I'm using is called a burnt thing. But of course you can use any shape you like. You can even make the small ones like cupcakes. It really depends on you. Next. Make sure the butter is spread evenly in the thing.
put it in the middle of your oven and bake it for about one hour depending on your oven type and I'm using a fan oven now to make sure my cake is baked I'm just going to stick inside a skewer you can use a knife or a toothpick if it comes out clean it means your cake is ready if it doesn't cook it for a few more minutes so this is my cake now as you can see it's nice and golden and cooked and also soft and I'm going to turn it on a cooling rack and let it cool down about 15 to 20 minutes okay guys it is now time to remove it so one two three and four and this is my perfect coconut sponge cake and for the decoration I decided to use icing sugar so I'm dusting it with icing sugar and this is optional but I am also adding a bit of honey I love honey and then I'll finish with some coconut sprinkles so guys I'm going to cut it for you just for you guys because my cake was very fresh and very soft and as usual this is a close-up of my African style coconut sponge cake and as you can see it is wonderful and it was tasting amazing all right guys so this is how I make my African style coconut sponge cake I hope you enjoyed watching this video and as I was saying in the beginning I use my stand mixer but you can use a hand mixer and if you have strong arms you can even do everything by hand and use a whisk so guys this was my cake and I'm really hoping you are going to try it because it's amazing I ended up making another one the day after because my husband and kids were enjoying it so much <laughs> so okay thank you very much and see you next time bye bye